so we will see each and every feature of body press each and every component in detail so before that i'm just explaining extend profiles so how extend profiles for so for that i enable this extend profile and i set up my all pages here member page register and activate page i enable those option which are required here for me so go in the mem i will check the pages whether this page is showing some content or not so you can see here my all members are getting shown here i can sort those member and this is default feature provided by bodypress last active members so these are the things so i will check whether register page is i can see register page or not so you can see register page redirecting me to home page because i am already logged in so logged in user cannot see registration page so i will check by registering a user so i'll go uh, so i'm using session box here to maintain another session so here i'm getting a link called regist register so i'm getting a link of register page so i'll click on this here i can register so these are my default field username so these are my default field username email id password and name required so i want another field here the field for um, last name and address so i will go in the admin section again and i will go in user tab here you can see profile field so i'll go here in here so i have extra profile field as name which you can see here name so i don't want name here so i will edit it i want first name instead of name so i just saved it i will create another field i will mark it as last name it will be text box so if you want to give a description user like this anything you can give as you wish visibility to everyone yes required or not required so i want it to require so i will save it i want every user should insert their first name and last name so here i can mark it required so if you, first name is already required and last name is required then i want another field for phone number so i will check here you have this number field here so i will enable this i don't want it required so i will just save it so i want one more field that is date of birth so i will make it as date selector and the date format should be yeah it's fine for me absolute so i will make it required i just saved it so now in my another session box where i'm not registered yet i will check you can see here i have all those fields you can enable and disable who will see this information kind of thing so i will just create a user so in username i will write demo one or something demo one at the rate gmail.com i will type password one two three which is very weak i know but i will type don't use such password in your actual username but here i am just testing so i can write demo first name one last name phone number yes it's not my number you can call on this 
and uh, write something data about okay fine and that is it yeah. so okay now it's fine so this is how my user work so i want i don't want number to get seen to everyone so i will check this only me only me can see this for now and date of birth some of girls they hide their date of birth so they can use this option only me can see my date of birth so i will do complete sign up so here here it telling check your email for and activate your account so because i am in local host so i will not gain i have written the wrong user id there so i will not get that email but you will get that email if you register as user so you can check it in your mail so for now what i will do i have admin access so i will just enable that admin from back end so here i can see in pending user i have this user i will activate it demo one you are now member of my site okay so now if demo one okay so for that i'm now demo one will have to log in so it will he will go to login section demo one and the password was one two three so i will log in here you can see i'm in the side page now and i can see the member okay like and i can go to the member profile here i have different member profile i can check their profile oh it's my profile only so let's check whether this information we have written here will accessible for to other member or not so we will go in admin session if we was in demo session demo user session now we are in admin user session so we will go to the admin page we will refresh this page we will see one more user that is demo and go to his profile because it is admin so he have access to change or to access all user profile field but if we will go in another session i am in quantum mode i am opening the same url for demo one i can see nobody could see the, his date of birth and phone number so that's great feature of buddy press so now i want profile pic so i can upload a profile pic here what is okay change profile photo so i can upload a photo here so initially it's a gravatar image so i'm uploading my own photo so now you can see my own photos here i can add cover photo even cover images so I where is cover image? Give me some cover image. So let's check whether we can upload video or not. We cannot upload video. We just upload. We can upload just JPG, GIF, or images. So like cover image. Just save it. So now I can change my cover image here. I'll go to the so now I can change my cover image here. This is the cover pick. So I'll upload it. Yeah. Now you can see I have cover image. So if I will view my profile, then it will look like something like this. So let's see it in an encounter mode so that how user will see this thing in encounter mode. Yeah.
now you can see we have a cover image and we have a profile pic here so in this video i have explained how to use buddypress extended profiles component and how to create user profile fields and how to make them required and kind of thing and in this video i have explained how to use how to register as a user and just upload their profile page how you can how you can do that so we'll see each and every component one by one so it will be easy to understand body press component and it will be easy for everyone every non programmer or anyone to make a word body press related site, social networking site so that's it thank you thank you so much see you in the next video